Hey guys, what's going on? It's me with the Giant Tree here and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing another Fix Your Shiny as I haven't done one in them a hot second and the last one I planned to do, well it kind of didn't go well as I deleted the recording by accident. But here it is, it was Dragonite. I'm pretty proud of how I fixed it. I think it looks pretty good if I'm honest. I also fixed the rest of its evolution line because they were a bit strange. So yeah, uh, I'm doing another dragon and another evolution line today. We're doing the Gibble Gbyte Garchomp line and because he has a Mega we're gonna fix that shiny too. It's, uh, it's an interesting one this. The, their shinies aren't that good because they're pretty hard to differentiate between, especially Garchomp. If you're in game and you see a normal Garchomp next to a shiny Garchomp, you're not really going to be able to tell the difference. It's just a darker shade of purple. I mean, I guess it's more noticeable with uh, Gabite and Gibble because they uh, change colors a bit more. But anyway, we're going to be uh, changing them so they all have the same colors throughout their shinies and then wham bam, mega Pokemon. So obviously, you, you got to start with Gibble. We're doing sprites today because I felt sprites would be easier to to edit. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix this little boy here. I've got a, a new layout specifically for evolution lines, so it makes it easier for me to fix them. And also there's a little hashtag FYS which you can search on Twitter or YouTube to find more Fix Your Shiny videos. Anyway, so I'm thinking I'm thinking a black and red colour scheme for these this shiny line. I think that'd be pretty dope. I know many people have said that Garchomp is like the worst shiny Pokemon and to an extent I do agree. But we're going to do this colour range way, as we would if it were a 3D model. So we're just going to select all the colours of this shiny. And just like that, we've selected it all again. And now we can uh, change it again. <laughs> See, there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that! Oh, it's wonderful. Now we do the same, but with the, the light colours that are left. We're just going to make them a, a dark grey colour. Because they're dragons, you know, dragons need to be spooky scary. So that's what we're going to attempt to achieve here. Some spooky dragon boys. I know they are... they're not like the, the scariest looking dragons from their sprites, but they still are dragons, and dragons are supposed to be like ferocious terrifying beasts. I mean dinosaurs were originally perceived as dragons when their fossils were first found. So I mean there's that. Okay now this is going to be red so instead of just going for lightness we actually have to use this colour cider and find the correct colour. There was a red earlier. Ooh woo. We've almost found it. Should have saturated a bit. Ooh woo. What's this? Shiny Gibble, right there. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Oh, it's amazing. I need to, I need to tidy up the outside, and make that like pure black. So we can do that now. Actually, I think if it's yeah, it should be a different enough color to make pure black. So if I just color range, select this color. Okay. Control U. Let's see what changes. Ah, oh, that's actually what we wanted. Nice. Perfect. There we go. F gibble. Gib fixed. Wow! That's shiny gibble, shiny gib fixed. Next stop is a gibbite too. We're also going to do the same thing too. So that's just this. It's just a matter of color range. Bat, bat, a bat. Boop, boop, boop. See, I want to I talk about Generation 8 and... Uh, what's been revealed and whatnot. Now not much concrete information has been released pertaining to Generation 8. Okay, so at the time of recording this video, nothing had been released about Gen 8 whatsoever. We hadn't even got um, anything that we would gain a Pokemon Direct. So we didn't know when anything Pokemon Raid would be released. Turns out, three days after recording this video, stuff was released about Gen 8, like the starters in the region and stuff. So when I actually recorded this, we knew nothing, but because of how um, I've made videos recently, then this hasn't come out until now. So yeah, that's why I don't know what's happening with Jenny in this video. But there are some, some theorizings going on in the Pokemon community. 
I don't want to do that. I'll just do that. Look at that. It's already, it's already looking good. Or looking gooch, as they say in the business. But as I was saying, Generation 8, we haven't got much concrete information, but there is ideas of where it might be. And like the leading theory from Duncan Can't Die is that it's going to be sent in the UK. He has some super secret insider information, and obviously he can't tell was where he got that from or who he got it from so we just have to take his word that the next region will be the uk he's on board with it many of his pokétruber friends are on board with it i am on board with it i i i think it is he's a very trustworthy guy he hasn't done anything to like lie or sway the pokemon community in any way so there is no reason not to believe him and he might have insider information from somebody at nintendo Maybe that's why Reggie's leaving. They found out Reggie was leaking information to Duncan and they just had to fire him. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's why Reggie left Nintendo. That's a, that's a conspiracy theory for you there, fellas. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. We're, do, we're doing, we're doing, a, we're doing a, a, a thing. We're doing a thing. So we just need to continue doing that thing. I also do want to say, like, if there are shinies you specifically want me to fix, please comment down below or, um tweet at me over the giant tree tell me tell me you want, what you want a shiny fix and i'll do my best to accommodate your wishes obviously i can't fix every shiny pokemon is there some shiny pokemon i have no idea what to do to fix them originally i was going to do aerodactyl as i said in my let's go let's play but i just don't know how i can fix the shiny because what do i do do i make it black like i've done this like when hoodlum scrafty who started this whole fix your shiny trend in my opinion did this he was like I, I could just make every po shiny pokemon black because that would be cool and that's essentially what i've done with the garchomp line but i actually think it's pretty dope for them and i have made other different shiny lines different colors but it does come to a point where it's like do i just do this because it's easy and i know it's gonna look cool i know i know just like oh just make it black and it's good shiny like i, I don't like that logic myself personally like i don't i don't i don't think that's right i don't think you should just make it black and suddenly that makes it good like, that's what I was that's what I was debating when it came to Aerodactyl like I could just make him black I want to make him the the same color as like an actual prehistoric pterosaurus but I don't know how to do that because I don't know how it would look we're gonna even blue eyes by the way blue eyes black dragon you feel me yeah I don't know how I could f fix shiny Aerodactyl because he doesn't have any lines on him i can't do like specific markings because that's not what his design has his design is just flat gray flat purple so i can't really change that in any way if you do leave any shiny suggestions down below and i'll i'll try and think of how i can fix them how i can make them look good but i can't promise that they will get fixed obviously i'll always give it a good shot never never anything bad about giving it a good shot hey so if i can fix it then I will fix it. But if I don't have any idea how to, then it might not happen. I also need to make this a bit darker to fix his check, fix fit his evolution more. Out there, yeah. Okay. So these two are looking good. Goodbye, Garchomp. Goodbye. That's not a Garchomp. That's a Gibble. They're both looking pretty, pretty, pretty fresh, pretty hot to trot. So pretty proud of that. But now I'm going to go on to the big boy himself, big boy Garchomp. And uh, his strange mega design. Also, yeah, I got the sprite of this guy from DeviantArt. His link will be on screen, and I'll just get him up right now. No see, no see him. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's where I got that from. What are we doing? We're fixing this Bambino right here. The colors may be a bit off for his actual shiny and the sprite, but that's whatever because I'm actually just fixing his 2D version anyway. So if they're a bit off, it's, it's fine. You get the general idea. But we're onto the we're onto the big guns now, so we're just going to close these folders here, and we're going to lock them so they cannot be changed. Their designs are set in stone. Now, there's two things I like. I do like um, final form shinies, dr drastically altering the color palette, but I also like them being like following a set theme. So it, it's a it's a bit iffy when it comes to how do I view it. Do go for a black chum and a black chameleon black charizard or do we have a gold charizard who knows but i uh yeah, that's not the idea i might actually do that but anyway not right now that no stop thinking about that we've got to do this we got to fix garchomp which is uh what we're doing right now so color range a very useful tool when you want to fix shinies because you could just 
nab their colors and then Q shift them towards the color you want. It's a very useful tool. Big up to Hudlum Scrafty for actually showing me this tool in his first Fixer Shiny video. Yes, this series is very inspired by him and his his shiny fixing shenanigans. But uh, I think I think I'm good at it. I think my my uh, my own take on these shinies is is very good. And um, you know, it's it's a series really. There's hardly any original content on YouTube, so I think. If you enjoy someone's content and you want to make similar content without completely ripping them off, then you are completely able to do so. And that's what that's what I feel that's what I've done. Because you know, you get your fans involved, people who watch these videos, if they want to get involved, they can also fix the shinies they want to see fixed, and maybe even give you ideas for shinies to fix later on down the line. But right now, we're just out here wilding. Trying to fix this boy right here. Okay. Now, because that didn't go exactly as I'd planned, I'm going to have to go in and actually fix it more precisely. Because this is a big boy sprite, you know. He's a big, big boy. There we go. Nice red, reddish pink. There we go. Nice. Now onto his eyeballs, which of course we're making blue for the purpose of this fix your shiny. But I wouldn't really care if they were changed or not, if I'm honest with you. I've seen Nintendo aren't going to just randomly change their shinies, that's not something they do. It's not something you really could do for the Pokemon company. You can't really just, like change your shinies anyway, you can get around doing that is making it a Mega and then giving it an actually, actually a good shiny. So that's the only way they would fix your shiny. I've also been looking at like fake Megas that could have been and then people have been like, well why couldn't they just use this design? Because the person who did the fan art has already used that design, they can't exactly just take a design a fan did because people review that as lazy and that's that's not good but then again some of the designs are pretty sick so it would be nice to see them Pokemon or whatever okay moving on to the mega boy now I think I'm just gonna stick with the black and red color scheme that I've already been going with with these shinies because I think that would look dope so we're gonna do it anyway it's the same same old meme you know select this color yada 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 you've selected the color well done <laughs> boom shiny f almost fixed almost asterisk because he's not done yet we gotta do with his chest and some bits we missed as I can see them now <laughs> so we know we're just gonna polish those up right quick boom okay so we're, get we're getting there we're almost done we're, almost we're in the home stretch now fellas we just gotta change his body. I don't know why I spoke, stroked my monitor there. You can't see that or feel that, so there's no reason for me to do that. And I also don't know why I'm telling you. I think it's just to add some form of commentary so it's not just silent. Oh, he's looking, he's looking, oh, he's looking juicy. Oh, right, there's still more to do. There's still more to fix, okay? Oh, there we go. Uh, that's perfect. That's fucking... Oh, that's fucking good. Oh, that's good. Right, now we got to go in and uh, do, do, do the more precise bits. I will post these on the Twitter when I'm done. So if you want to see them there, then that's where they'll be. Just chilling. Go, uh, go give them a like, you know, promote them. Like yo, Callum, look at look at this look at this hella hella clean shiny that's been done and then Yeah. Anywho, that's that's it. We're we're done. I think that's the quickest I've managed to do a fix your shiny while commentating at least eighty percent of it. So that's good. We're gonna just invert the main colours for this one so you can actually see everything like that. What has this been? This has been Fix Your Shiny. If you do like it, then you know, like, subscribe. Follow me on the Twitter, which is at Over the Giant Tree. It's in the description of every video. And I'll see you guys in my next <laughs> video. Have a great day. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.